Mars OESS here and today it's Middlesbrough away. Not a lot to play for at all now. It's just about getting a good bit of momentum ahead of next season. We've seemed to have done that really, really well in the past couple of weeks. Obviously, we beat QPR last week and then the week before that we beat Blackburn away, which was fantastic. We're taking just under a thousand up to Teesside today, which is absolutely brilliant. Our away uh, following all season long has been tremendous. Middlesbrough obviously are up there. We've got Chris Wilder as manager, a manager who I really, really like. I really like his style of play. Um, I've got a lot of respect for the bloke, but not today. We need to go out there and get a win. Um, I think we'll get. A, I think we'll get a draw today, um, and I think Josh Timon's going to get one. I feel like he's due a goal. Uh, I'm not sure he was going to score for Middlesbrough, but yeah, hopefully it'll be a good atmosphere. It's the last away game of the season. A little bit sad um, because we've got to wait till what, August till the next away game, but. Hey ho, it's been a good season nonetheless. It's been nice to, as well to just be back in the ground. It's obviously something we haven't had for the past 18 months before this season. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get up to Middlesbrough. Come on, Stoke. <music> You can start start Delilah again. Not with this voice, I won't be there. <laughs> no, but yeah, it's really good. Last week, it's season, so that's just good. So, team music's out, just the two changes from the win against QPR last week. Josh Marger drops out, as does Ben Wilmot in place of Jaden Philogene Bidace who makes his first start in a while and Will Forrester comes back into the side which is good to see. I like seeing Forrester in. I thought he did well against Bristol City and um, West Brom who he was tremendous that game so hopefully he can have another display like that again today. So yeah, still second one all. Come on Stoke. I, 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 I saw in the 
hold up, there was a, well, the free kick came from an alleged handball on Smith. I thought it hit him in the back mostly, but the referee thought otherwise he's gone straight in. I don't know if it took a nick off the wall or what. Well, it's 2 0 to Borough. Goals come from deflections, really. The first one was a long shot from Crooks, deflected off uh, Harwood Bellis, I think. The second one was a free kick, um, bent in off the head of Baker, I think, and past Bursi. Overall, I don't think we've been as bad as this call on makes out. Um, we've got forward okay. Perhaps service to Brown could have been a little bit better. Brown's had a chance himself. Um, I think Baker had a long shot as well that didn't go too far wide, so we've had the chances, we just haven't got them on target yet. How do I think it'll end? Bora looked dangerous, really dangerous coming forward. Tavernier's got Smith on absolute strings at the moment, um, so he's a worry. Do I think he'll get a goal? Quite possibly. He'll definitely stick one across into the middle, but no, it's a uh, disappointing half. Hopefully we can turn it round. I'm not sure whether we will, but yeah, come on Stoke.
full time, uh, not a lot to say really. Second half wasn't too much better than the first. Um, could have been a lot worse, I suppose. Out battled, out fought, out scored. I think it's the conclusion I'd, I'd put onto that one. Well done to on the, on the win, they were quite decent in attack, uh, very dangerous at times, but yeah. Last game against Coventry next week. And uh, yeah, I would have said I enjoyed my day, but yeah. See you guys in the next one. Come on, Stoke.